there's there's this really interesting intersection that's happening across where DevOps has been evolving and discovering things like Conway's law, right? Mm -hmm. And then value streams are sort of evolving in in parallel in some cases, but you know, it's mm -hmm. it's kind of had its own evolution yes. and, and growth over the years. And now we have convergence and now we're seeing, okay, well, yeah, there's a, there's a, a very practical way to uh, perform something like a reverse Conway maneuver, right? Where you do, you, just, you organize the communication that then will dictate the, uh, the architecture and the function of your systems. Mm -hmm. And looking at that from workflow forwards is really interesting. Looking at sort of yeah. how do we, how do we allow people to collaborate so that the end product of their work actually functions in a more organic or productive way, a more mm -hmm. natural and sustainable way, because, you know, it's the way that we interact is sustainable. We do it naturally. And it's sort of like the way that we want to do things. This is kind of the thing where engineers fight against process because it's not natural most of the time, right? To follow a process, you just want to behave. You just want to sort of like act and then have everything sort of facilitate and enable your actions. And I think that we're, we're kind of converging a lot of things stuff that we'll get into a little bit later in the conversation, but uh, it's interesting to, to see the pendulum swing where we had all the structure and systems and process and a lot of clarity around what it takes to do business uh, at a high level of performance. And a lot of that got thrown out when it hit the, the folks who actually had to do the work and kind of rejected all this rigidity uh, because when it comes time to actually doing the work, a lot of that can get in the way unless it is built to enable flow, right? And kind of facilitate natural behaviors and, exactly. and natural collaboration patterns. 